Here comes Christy Gar, and she's got one of those names that as a public address announcer, I just love. I love when they end on an R, so you can do Gar and just kind of pirate your way out of it. That's some good stuff there. Christy Gar, 2 and O, oh, fighting out of Scorpion Fighting System in Michigan. And actually, you know, as a fighter, I, I normally see like that fight face they put on, that tough kind of look. She comes out all smiles here tonight. Uh, that's kind of odd for a fighter, but she seems to be in a smiling kind of mood. Yeah, every fighter's got their own unique perspective on fighting. You know, me personally, I'm not the meanest guy, but I just love to fight. And it looks like she's uh, similar in that fashion, walked out to Can't Touch This and had a shirt that said Filthy on it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Absolutely. Christy Gar getting checked out right now. We've checked her out. Now let's check out her opponent, our second Levi of the night, Courtney Levi, coming to the cage right now. Next up, welcome her opponent, Courtney Levi. Courtney Levi is three and oh, a little bit earlier on in the night, her sister fell in a unanimous decision in a very tough fight against Sarah Jones. We'll see if Courtney now can represent the Labai name well this evening. Again, she's 3-0, and guard 2-0, and a couple of undefeated amateurs going as we get nearer and nearer to our main event of the evening. And we're starting to get into some pretty tough competitors right now. Labai is ready to go, and we are ready for this one, Labai and Gar, right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is brought to you by Miller Lite and scheduled for three rounds at 110 pounds in our women's division. Introducing first and fighting out of the Coliseum Bar Red Corner. She weighed in at 110 ready pounds. She hails from Goodrich, Michigan. Undefeated. Two bouts, two victories. She represents Scorpion Fighting Systems, Christy Gar. Her opponent fighting out of the Harley Davidson of Madison Blue Corner. She hails from Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and also is undefeated. Three victories, zero defeats. She represents Unified Martial Arts, weighing in at 110 pounds, Courtney Labai. Labai and Gar ready to square off as all of a sudden the smile is off the face of one Christy Gar, and she is all business right now as here we go in a battle of undefeateds, and Gar comes out quickly and right away is looking for a takedown and gets it as she drives Labai down to the mat. Yeah, Gar in on that takedown quick, kind of let a right hand go and just letting the hands go from top position. Boy, Christy Gar, who came out all smiles, is all business right now, trying to attack Labai as she's getting caught by the legs of Labai, but she's quickly out of it, and again, trying to get into a better posture where she can ground and pound, but Labai using a, her legs to her advantage to defend, now she gets slammed down by the powerful Gar. Yeah, Labai did a really good job getting that triangle set up twice, but just couldn't quite finish it, needed to get Gar's head pulled it down to break her posture, but Gar just out toughing her right now, throwing those legs by, slamming her, now getting that side control. Looks like she's working to try to get mount so she can posture up and do a little more damage. So far, it's all Gar. Gar on top early in this one as Labai trying to break free, trying to kick out using whatever she can to break free from this mount of Gar's. Gar now with control, trying to get over to that mounted position, like you said, but good job. Labai's keeping her at bay right now. Right, and in this specific position, we see Gar, for a brief second, she tried to set up that key lock, pin that wrist down, 
was looking for mount, but Labai doing a good job being active with her hips. And really, if Gar tries to posture up and punch too early in this situation, she's going to give up position, and Labai's going to get back to guard as she's trying to do right now. But now from half guard, it's almost a better position to strike from. you got control of the leg, control of the hips, a uh, little more room to posture up and rain down some punches. And Labai right here really needs to work to either sweep or get back to guard. Gar using that control to her advantage, using that right hand to drive into the side of the face of Labai as she continues to stay on top of Courtney Labai. Final minute of the first round. It has been all Christy Gar so far in this one, now with an elbow on the face of Labai. Can't use it to strike at the amateur level, but you can use it to control, and she's been doing a good job of that here in the first round. Right, you'll see Gar in between those punches. She's pinning that wrist down, looking for that key lock, trying to suck that elbow hint to the hip pocket and then yeah. rotate that elbow closer to the head to get the submission, and that attacks the shoulder joint. Labai being really good about trying to get her hips back in, get that arm loose. But Gar just on top, controlling hard to finish that from half guard, especially on someone who is as flexible as Labai. Gar focusing on that wrist, really driving it into the mat as Labai has been dominated here in round number one. Christy Gar takes the first round, and we will see if that dominance continues in round number two here on 57 Sports. We check out some of the replays and the action from round number one as Christy Gar got a very early takedown of Courtney Labai and she stayed on top of her throughout the first round. Yep, really all Christy Gar that first round. As we saw, that was the one takedown in the round and then it was Gar the rest of the round trying to keep that top position, threatening submissions and landing some strikes. So round number two now, we'll see if Gar can maintain that dominance of Labai. And so if you are Labai right now, would you like to strike a little bit more? Would you like to, to stay on your feet here? Because it seemed like Gar got the better of her once they hit the mat. Yeah, and Labai's even a little bit longer, and we see now she's trying to keep, keep her distance a little bit. It's very clear that Gar is the more dominant grappler on the mat. And now if it does go back to the ground, Labai's got to do her best to try and keep her her full guard and try to threaten some submissions, but here we see guard right away with that takedown. In half guard, Labai is against the cage, and now it looks like she's gonna be stuck here for a good amount of time as guard using really good pressure and control to establish that control on top before she starts to move to pass or threaten with anything. Gar shot the leg once again as the action taking place right in front of us here in the cage, but almost an exact replay of the first round as Gar with the early takedown and now on top landing blows to the head of Courtney Labai. And Labai using her feet to try to walk off that cage, but Gar doing a good job turning her back towards the center. Labai's got a hold of Gar's right arm, got that overhook going, but Gar content to Pressure in there, keep working for that side control and land some strikes, albeit smaller strikes to the side of the head to open up that position. And now we see her inside. Side control here, trying to raid down on the bye, doing everything she can, throwing the legs up, moving the hips to try and get back to guard or possibly get to her feet. Levi trying to defend with those legs. She has done a good job of it so far in this round, but now it is side control for Gar and Gar is looking to rain more blows down on Courtney Labai. Labai trying to push her head away with that left elbow and maybe try to get an arm bar here, but Gar will have none of it as she lands a right to the side of the head of Courtney Labai. Right, and in that position, Labai is really good, coming back to her feet, landing some good strikes, good punches to the head, and a body kick. Gar getting that takedown right away getting it back to where she's been dominant. Very smart move. And if I'm in guard's corner, I, I'd almost recommend staying in half guard or possibly standing over Labai and landing some strikes from the feet, just controlling those ankles. But here, doing a good job from half guard as Labai is very squirrely, very tricky getting, getting those legs up from side control. Yeah, it seems like Labai has only been able to land shots when she has been in the striking position. Once they hit the mat, it has been all Gar, and Gar 
continues to use that right hand when she gets it free to hit Levi with, and now she's trying to get that arm bar. Good step over for that arm bar attempt. Gar needs to get her legs straight a little bit tighter right now. We see her lacing through there. Got the arm broke. Don't think there's enough time to finish it though. 10 seconds left in the round. The ref looking to see if Gar can lock that in. She runs out of time as she nearly got the submission by an arm bar on Courtney Levi. Well, Christy Gar is going to have to go at least one more round here, try to finish off Levi. We'll see if she can do it in round number three on 57 Sports. Courtney Labai has had trouble fighting off the persistent attack of one Christy Gar, and Gar has dominated almost completely, especially once they hit the ground. Yeah, all the fight. Gar's been getting those takedowns when she needs them, and then as soon as she gets on top, she's being mean. She's grinding her forearm into her face, landing little strikes, making Labai pay for every mistake. So third round now as Christy Gar Again, she can't wait for this round to start. She's raring to go here in the third and final round. So her conditioning is good. Labai looking to strike. That seems to be the only place that she could do damage to Gar. As Gar, I'm sure, will be looking to shoot that leg and get another takedown here in the third round. Right, that should be story of the fight right here. Is we all know what Gar's game plan is. She doesn't look too comfortable on the feet. You know, at this point, I'd say whip, whip a big overhand right and just go for that takedown. And yep. off the kick, there it is on cue. Yep. Gar looking to finish. Labai doing a good job right now, locking up, trying to stay on top. And that time she avoided getting taken down back to her feet. Still down two rounds, in my opinion, is going to need a finish to get a victory here tonight. That was the best job she's done all fight of defending a takedown. Now lands a kick, kind of glanced off the head of Gar. Didn't connect flush. Otherwise, that could have done damage. That one did. That one connected flush, and I think Gar is hurt. Yeah, Gar's a little rock right now. Luckily, uh, Labai made you know a mistake you make as an amateur. Rushed in a little bit too quick. Let Gar get in on that leg. Now Gar taking some little strikes, but ultimately is going to have time to recover here. She's got Labai against the cage. Looking to push, and now she's controlling that half guard position again against the fence. And as long as she can maintain this, at the very least, she'll ride this out to a decision victory. Yeah, it seemed like Labai would have been better served just to stay at distance, continue with those kicks. Two of them landed, one of them landed flush. Gar appeared to be hurt for a moment, but caught Labai and once again brought her down to the mat where she's more comfortable. Now we see Labai in full guard. Got a little more of a chance here just landing little strikes. And this is one of the biggest things in amateurs, even from top and side control, and now here from bottom and guard, there's no elbow. So it's harder to get openings and land really devastating strikes as an amateur. But Labai doing a good job using her feet, being active, threatening some submissions, and that ultimately makes Gar back off. But now we see her back in on that crackdown trying to get that top position. Only a minute left, and it looks like if it keeps going this way, she'll be able to get that victory, but Labai definitely making an effort here to try and turn things around. Yeah, as soon as Labai got to her feet, it was Gar who was right back in on her almost instantly and continues to put the pressure on Labai. And that looks like Labai here is trying to pry that arm out. You know, she's got her... Her other arm triangle, at this point, I ditched that arm. Now she seems to be going for an arm bar. I look to get on top right now before I go for some submissions, but looking to get that arm bar from a... She needs it. Yeah, position. she's only got 10 seconds to lock it down. You said she needed a finish. I think you are right. Gar's going to ride this one out and might win this one two rounds to one. So best round of the fight for Courtney Levi, but is it enough? to gain a decision over Christy Gar. We will find out when we return to the Monona Terrace. This is Chosen Few Fighting Championships. Number 14 in this is 57 Sports. Action from round number three as the best round of the fight for Courtney Labai as she was able to do some stuff striking, landed a couple of big kicks. There was a glancing blow, and here's the good one. Yeah, really good head kick there by Labai. 
just couldn't stay away to capitalize on it. And then Gar, really smart, right back in on that leg, getting that takedown, and ultimately staying on top to what should be a decision victory, in my opinion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we get to an official decision, one more round of applause for a great fight. After three rounds of 110-pound women's action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Both Judge Wickers and Zamatello score the bout 29-28, while Judge Sabatis has it 30-27. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision and fighting out of the red corner, Christy Gar. Two judges had it 2-1. That's how we had it. One judge had a perfect shutout. For Christy Gar, who improves to three and zero, oh, Courtney Labai falls to three and one with that unanimous decision. All right, we got more coming up from the Monona Terrace on 57 Sports.